Hey, what's up, everybody? Samir Punjani, March 1st, 2011. Looking at today's foreclosures, found one interesting one. Uh, it's got all the uh, all the factors uh, for a foreclosure to happen. This one's um, on uh, Rebecca, 2912 Rebecca. And you can see from here, from the Google Maps, it's uh, it's uh, backyard faces the uh, this man-made lake out here. And this is off of uh, Clay Bank in uh, Fairfield, newer home. And uh, you know we can kind of get to uh, this is how it looks from the from the front. Single story, uh, three car garage, very nice uh, uh, neighborhood. Now let me give you a little bit of history on this one. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and check what uh, what we're going for as far as sales price. It's set to sale at uh, 2.30 p.m. today, 2912 Rebecca. It got postponed before. Hopefully it gets postponed, but I'm not sure. We'll check back in. Um, outstanding liens are about 547. Outstanding loan amounts, 547. Opening bid on this is 245000 Now, it didn't start out at a... 547. This actually is uh, is probably an option arm loan. So the negam uh, interest kept uh, wasn't the payments weren't even enough to cover to cover the interest. So what happens? It got tacked on to the uh, to the principal. So if I went and looked at the uh, the mortgage history on this one, um, it was actually a mortgage back uh, started May 1st, 2006, and the mortgage amount was 494,000, and it got all the uh, interest uh, that got back on back was five hundred and forty-seven thousand uh, dollars that got added to uh, to the principal. So I guess what's happening is the uh, you know as these payments start to adjust, uh, just homeowners just are unable to to keep up with these payments, um, and uh, it's going up for sale two forty-five now. It, it may seem like a great deal, right? Two hundred forty-five thousand. But then, when I looked at the comps um, in the area, it, it, it's probably not worth that much because the uh, the last ones that actually sold, and this is like within this is I did a quarter mile radius search, uh, and these are all the um, the the selling prices of of some uh, that sold Breckenridge. I know that's in an area. It's on the market for two weeks, and that sold for uh, two hundred and um, fifty-seven thousand, and that's a uh, four. Two and a half, twenty-four hundred square feet. It's way bigger than this one. Um, Ironwood, that sold eleven seventy-six. Ironwood. These are all within a quarter mile radius. That's four three twenty-five hundred square feet. Um, this one sold for three hundred five, and that's twenty-seven hundred square feet. Uh, and the the uh, this property is a um, uh, uh, four bedroom uh, home, and it's uh, it's priced at uh, two hundred and Forty-five thousand, as far as the list price, um, and uh, the square footage on this is actually. Go ahead and check this out for you guys here. Go ahead and check here. We can look. See, it's twenty-one seventeen square feet. So um, that's probably going to end up as a foreclosure again. Uh, going back to the bank, the lender was a uh, SCME Mortgage Bankers. They don't exist anymore. They probably sold their loans off to. Uh, Either Chase or Bank of America, who took it off their hands. Uh, so we'll we'll figure out. You know, we'll hopefully hopefully the the sale gets uh, postponed again. If not, then um, this is another uh, another foreclosure uh, for March first in uh, Solano County. All right, guys, take care. And again, if you have any problems with your mortgage payments or need help with short sales, um, give me a call. Uh, you can visit our website again at www.mygpsagent.com. Thank you.